I should probably blend in these blobs before I start filming because they definitely look like You're filming? It's good at the beginning. Oh, what a fi- How do you start your videos? I just start them randomly every time. Oh, it's have you had people in your videos before? Yeah, I do collabs. Oh, so you can clearly you tell Safi has never watched my channel. <laughs> can I have another name? Would you want another name? <laughs> what, a stage name? Yeah. yeah. Hello everybody. This is my dear friend. I've known her for about eight years. It's a very long time. She's old. Um, she's, she's actually a lot younger than me. I say a lot younger. You're about six months younger than me. I'm a grandma. Anyway, this is a getting ready to go out video. We're getting ready slash life chat with life Laura chat. and Safi. We're going out again because 2017 is the year of the party apparently for us. Second night in three days. <laughs> Technically the first one was on New Year's Eve so it doesn't count. Anyway. I'm really liking how I'm looking at this. How many followers do you have again? 11,500. <laughs> Make that the intro. <laughs> Just you flipping out the hair and me being like, oh, hair smells don't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> what is your pet peeve? Well, do they all know that? How much do they know about you? I don't know. This is like a Q and A with Laura, but from Safi. From Safi. My pet peeve is people sleeping loud. Oh, I was I was done with people. Oh. <laughs> People. <laughs> people. Me, you yeah, the sleeping loud thing as well. People that sleep. Luckily, this is why Safi's a good friend because she sleeps very quietly. So therefore, yeah. I don't have to uncomfortably have headphones in and listen to thunderstorms while I sleep. Thunderstorms. I listen to. I have an hour of thunderstorms. I feel like this is why. Like this is your main problem. <laughs> I listen to thunderstorms. I like the sound of rain. And I also listen to guided meditation while I sleep. It's very fun. It's actually not that fun. I wake up and I'm very stressed and it puts me into deep sleep where I have weird dreams. I have dreams. Here's a fun fact. I know you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell them. Here's a fun fact about me. I have dreams that are all set in the same place. All my dreams are set in this massive um, shopping centre. What? Every, Every dream? single dream is set somewhere in the shopping centre. Sometimes it's like a set place I've been before. Sometimes I haven't. Oh, is it any shopping centre? No, no, the same one. It's not like a specific one I've ever been to. It's one that my brain's made up. Oh my God, maybe you should write a book about it. I know. The adventures I, of the shopping centre. I feel like it. I feel like it's where I'm going to die. <laughs> if I ever walk into that shopping centre in my life, I will flip my shit. What is favourite song right now? Ooh. Non-musical. While we're on the topic of songs, listen to... There's only one song released, but actually I don't know if I want to tell anyone about this yet because it's my new favourite Broadway musical. Dear Evan Handed, I'm just going for it. The actual soundtrack isn't released yet. It comes out February 3rd, but there's one song on iTunes, so you should listen to it. It's called Looking Through a Window or something like that. And there's another one on YouTube, which is like a duet and they're very nice. Other than that, my favourite song is the cover of Closer by Boyce Avenue. Basic sure? as fuck, but... No, I love both Boyce it's very self-centered, I should probably ask you questions too. No, I don't really have like things, do I? I'm not like a person with things. I'm not a person apparently, Safi's an alien. What is she doing here? If you had to be put in any part of the Harry Potter story, like the whole story, yes. but you could only be put in one bit of it, like one scene of it, which scene would you put, be put in? I would be put in, oh can I pick two? No. I would be put, well my favourite scene of all time is the... Um, but you have to replace someone in it as well. I'll be Dumbledore in... When he <laughs> dies. In the death scene in King's Cross Station. So when um, Harry's been killed and he goes to King's Cross Station um, in his like subconscious and Dumbledore's there, he's like, my brave boy. Harry and is killed? You know when Harry's killed? Did you watch Deathly Hallows Part 2? No, I didn't watch it. Oh. Uh, Zaffy's recent, only recently, as in like last week, watched Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, so, Harry Potter fan. Yeah, I so. get so much hate now. I love she's it. She loves it now. I'm still educating, so. I've known it, I've known Laura for eight years, and I've never watched it. Yeah. Well, I have, but I don't think. But she didn't like it at the time, and now she likes it. So thank you, ITV, for that marathon you did over Christmas for showing Zaffy the light. Yeah, that scene, basically, Harry. Oh, spoiler alert. Harry dies. 
he gets. You've already done it. <laughs> You've um, already he he it. arrives again. Yeah, he arrives. He lives again. But he dies initially, and he goes to. It's like all white, and it's basically like him when he's dead. And Dumbledore comes to him, and there's a little curled up fetus of Voldemort under this little bench, and he's going. <laughs> and 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 um, Harry's like Harry's like, what is it? Can we help him? And um, that's my favourite scene in the entire Harry Potter film. So I'd like to be Dumbledore in that one. Because he's very majestic and he's like... By the sounds of it, I'd like to be... The little fetus. The Voldemort fetus. The Voldemort. <laughs> so I knew that was coming. That's what I'd want to be. I'd want to be there all creepy, like... Curled up under a little bench. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah. I'm depressed as fuck. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm happy. My hand was full, so I'd slap my face. If you had to snog, marry and kill from Harry Potter, who would you... Where would you go about? Like, who would you kill? I'd kill Professor Umbridge. Can you kill Voldemort? No, 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 because Voldemort oh, is yeah. actually, like, he's obviously the main villain of the story. But he, although he kills a lot of people, I think Umbridge is a lot more evil. At least Voldemort has some kind of, like, he's doing it because he thinks that he could rule the world. And he's like, oh, I'm evil. I was conceived under a love potion, which means I can't love, even though I'm going to have a kid with Bellatrix the Strange. So basically, Voldemort, like, he's... Bellatrix is the one, she's got, like, crazy big curly hair, she's a Death Eater, and she, like, kills black, with black, black hair. hair. Bridge is just evil, like, she tortures kids, and I know Voldemort does that too, but for some reason it's just worse when um, Bridge does it, so I would kill her. One in the pink. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm impressed. Yeah. Safi knows her stuff. I mean, she just asked me who Bellatrix the Strange was, but other than that, she knows her stuff. I'd probably kiss Harry. Aww, look at you in love with Harry. I love him. And then what was the other option? Marry. You'd marry Harry, surely. Oh, yeah. Who would you snog? Oh, what about, um, I know, um, the guy who died. The one, um... Cedric Diggory. In the Tribes of Tournament. Robert Patterson. Yeah. yeah. Talk, give me a life lesson. Don't drink underage. We definitely didn't do that. Don't say knock knock before you, like, and just open the door. Like, knock. Don't just go knock knock and then open the door. That's <laughs> I hate that. Do you know, I hate that when people do that. Yeah, but they're like this. They're like, knock knock and they just open it. You're like, why don't you just knock? <laughs> I've never thought about it. <laughs> what is it? Such, that's I'm crying. Thing. Really, like, makes me feel uncomfortable when people do that you're just, right you're not right why are you like, doing i've that? just never thought about it but yeah like, honestly that's, that's not that right. is annoying why do people say the knock when they could just not yeah not clap don't clap either i get really irritated when like someone's downstairs and they call you and you answer and then they keep calling you why do i feel like that's just your dad <laughs> that is my dad it's like that was whole that was based like, around Sav, yes yes Sav, yeah! <laughs> that just reminds me of being at your house. Literally. And then eventually you just get up and go downstairs and be like, Dad, what's going on? My windows have steamed up. Me and Taff, Safi are too hot for this room. Don't dab. <laughs> Were you going to dab? James, choose a colour. Slightly tinged brown. Tinge brown. Tinged brown. Tinged brown. <laughs> have you That's seen the a plan. makeup palette? No. Which, what's They're the all tinge? tinged brown. <laughs> He doesn't want to come in the shot. He's too scared. It's your body. Making it. This is my this is my twin brother James. He's making a guest appearance. I can't smile. I'll go across the camera because I hate my smile. Car crash. Car. <laughs> <laughs> look fine. Can we have like a squad? It kind of looks like we're dabbing. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like I've got the pressure on this video. Yeah, you definitely do. It's all on me. There's no rehearsal. It's just like, poor. Um. <laughs> I usually cut out my ums, but I'll definitely keep that one in because it was synchronised. Okay, my new pet peeve is um. People that say um, that's just irritating. You know even weirder? People that say um instead of um. <laughs> Do you know what's really weird? Yeah. So one day, everyone was like, Laura, do you know you do something all the time? And I was like, what? And they were like, you say, hmm, all the time. And I was like, I've never done that once in my life. Because for me to go, hmm, feels very unnatural. You know if you say something all the time, it feels natural. 
That feels very you unnatural. You say mm, all the time. This is what I never knew I said it right. You say it all, like literally like eight times a day. This is what I've been told and I was so stressed. I was like, I've never said that once in my life. You're all liars. And then, <laughs> and then two, <laughs> seconds, two seconds later I went, hmm, and they all went, what is just it? <laughs> and oh I was so God. confused and stressed because I never thought I did that. No, yeah, you do. They placed the camera, like you're back here. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Why did this happen? I'm clearly not done getting ready yet because my hair looks like crazy. Um, but oh, hair looks crazy. <laughs> we are done getting ready to go out, which not really. Oh, my entire face needs redoing. Well, we're going to end this video now. Um, thanks for watching. I don't have an outro, but I usually just leave and do this. And then that is out. terrible. Actually, no, you make it, Uncle. Do <laughs> <laughs> just leave. That's what I do. Because that's what I do when I'm awkward. I'm like... Well, that's why I peace out. No, no. <laughs> what is... You do that. Why are you doing that? Just peace. No, you, pu peace. you punch the chest you first. Punch you it. I think that's... Nice. It'd be good if I could click. <laughs> what? What is that sound? <laughs> why are you making that sound? It's because I can't click. Tongue pop it. God, that was a terrible tongue pop. Match for that. <gasps> I turn popped, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's it, I make it out. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Done.